What's up guys, Bryce and Michael RC here, and guess what we have today? Check it out right here. Check out what came in from China today, guys. Bam, 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 bam. This is the power supply to my Anycubic i3 Mega, so I'm going to get that hooked up. Hopefully get to printing tonight. Sorry for the credit video, I can't find my camera right now, so I whipped out my phone. Just wanted to show you guys, we'll be up and running here very, very, very soon. We got the power supply in today, and I got it hooked up into the Anycubic i3 Mega. It, right as soon as I got it hooked up, I'll put some video right here of me hooking it up. Uh, right as soon as I hooked it up, turned everything on, it, it was beautiful, I was so excited about it. And then I wanted to do a test prep, and I started to do the test print, and it kept stopping, the extruder kept, it would, it would get like a few layers in, and then suddenly everything would drop down to zero and I was just like oh my god the power the power supply came in and then it's still gonna mess up so this this kinda sucks and the one thing that I forgot about if you get an any, any cubic i3 mega and you live in the United States the one thing that I forgot about is to switch the power supply from the 250 to the 115 it's got a little switch down on the side of it if you live in America, 115, that's where you want to have it because if it's, it's set up for, it's got two different ones, one's for like European countries and the other one's for the United States or it might be like United States and European and, and whatever other group of people that, that go on the higher one. Uh, but all I did is I switched that over, bam, and then we got our first print off of it right here. This is just a test print that I ended up doing uh, just to make sure that it worked. I, it's it's real low resolution. I didn't want it to take long. I wanted it to be like an hour or something like that, and it printed it all the way through without dropping back down to zero. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think that that was the only problem with it. I looked online, and let me tell you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make a full video. I've got all the footage together, and I'm gonna do a little bit of commentary and stuff. So be looking for that, a secondary one to the fix it video that I had had out the first time. I've had a lot of comments on it and stuff. A lot of people. Uh, telling me this and telling me that and I have I had a few people that were a little bit rude about it and Let me tell you guys something uh, Some people get on and they and they they know it all and things like that But but a lot of these fix it videos are for four people who don't know how to do things by themselves And so I try to break it down to the simplest way possible So you guys can have the experience if you don't know much about electric uh, If you don't know much about electrical stuff, then you'll be able to go into it and, and half the thing that I wanted to show is how good Anycubic's customer service was because I can't say enough about customer service with Anycubic. Uh, they, were, they were real quick, real prompt, prompt with me. We got the power supply in. They, they, it's almost like they knew what was going on. I had somebody get on and say I was the first person that ever had that problem. Uh, why am I posting a video about it? It makes Anycubic look bad and all this different stuff and said it was a shitty thing for me to do. That's exact words. But let me tell you guys something. Exactly what I said back is for every one video that somebody puts out, and I believe this wholeheartedly, for every one video that somebody puts out, there's a hundred people who can't make videos that are, that are wondering about the exact same thing. And if you go on Google and you search problems with the Anycubic i3 Mega, you'll find the problem I had and so much more. There's a ton of people that are having power supply. This isn't new. This is why Anycubic's customer service knew exactly what I was going through and exactly what I needed because there are a lot of people. And there's no videos. If you search YouTube, there are no videos on this subject except for mine. And it's, it's wild to think about. So I want to make the entire fix it video to show you guys everything from step one all the way to the ending of it and, and figuring it out because it, it didn't take much. And I show you guys how to put the new power supply in, how to hook it up, and all that different stuff. So, please, if, if you guys are trolling around looking through videos of fix it things just to try to find where somebody slips up and doesn't tell you something, keep rude comments to yourself because it's just one of those things. One of the big deals that I love about the hobby and drones and the hobby and the 3D printing and stuff like that is the community itself and the community of people who are nice to each other and trying to help each other out. If your printer goes down, if a drone goes down. This is why I love these hobbies because people band together and try to help each other out. And when somebody gets, gets their favorite printer on and somebody says something bad about their favorite printer so they immediately get on their video and start attacking them personally because they, they said something bad about their favorite video, it, it's no help to anybody. Uh, Uncle Jesse put out a video a couple days ago about 
the community, the hobby community, and finding yourself a good community. And it was, it was some of the best advice that you could get. When you get a printer, when you get a Prussia, if you get a CR10, if you get an Anycubic i3 Mega, find you a Facebook community and get on that community and talk to those people. Find you a forum that's on, on Google or, or on some website, find a forum and talk to those people because everybody's trying to help everybody because if, if somebody can help you then you can help them eventually and that's kind of the trade-off in these communities and it's it's so important in this hobby to have that and so I would I would just say that that if you're one of those people that gets on and and you just you look for the flaws in it and you look for what somebody doesn't say so you can correct them on something uh, just just keep that kind of stuff to yourself because more than likely that that was taken like I used a continuity uh, device to help me figure out the continuity. That's that's the reason why. And I completely forgot to put that in the video. I for, forgot to talk about that. That's one of the first things you do in electrical stuff. One of the first things you do is you check the continuity. You make sure that there's no shorts. And with the power supply, there was stuff wrong in the power supply. So there wasn't any shorts throughout the whole thing. The power supply was bad. And so it's not gonna show you on the continuity thing that, that uh, the, the power supply is bad. It's, it's it, Everything was showing good. And that's why I was in a position where I didn't know what else to do, but when I did the video and I started telling you guys about the things that I did for the video, I forgot to tell you guys the very first steps that I did. But everything else in that video is 100% you know, what I did from the moment I got a hold of customer service and on. And so I'm, I'm trying to help people as much as I can. Uh, and I'll, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to help as much as they can. And one of the best things that you can do, if you know so much about electronics, if you know so much about these things, don't get off and don't get on a video and and try to discourage people, but get on a video and just point things out and say, you know, it's easy to miss something. Tell somebody, you know, well, you could have done this or you could have done that. Just kind of point it out, just letting you know that or something like, you know, that's that's one of the best things that you can do. Uh, and it just helps everybody out because when people, I watched video, I, I tried to find videos on all this and I, and I found videos on, the, and there's only a few of them on YouTube where the Anycubic messes up and does something wrong. There's only a, a handful of them. And on each one of them, I went through and read through the comments just to see if anybody else had had the same problem and what their fix was because they were commenting back and forth and starting a dialogue in it. And so your comments are important in these videos. So if you know something that's not mentioned in the, in the video, your comment could be helpful to somebody else down the road that's looking back on that. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to leave the one comment up that was, that was pretty negative just so you guys can go and see it. You guys can click back on it. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and, and read it but there was a couple other ones that I have deleted just because they they weren't helpful and if they're not helpful in the comments uh, and I don't care you guys you guys can say whatever you want about me if you guys want to get on and leave a comment that says you're ugly or something do it I don't care if it has nothing to do with it I don't care about that but if you are blatantly discouraging something then then I have to just get rid of it because that's not helping anybody and these are meant to help people so I'm excited. Everybody get excited. I didn't mean to do a whole video about like scolding people in their comments and stuff. Community is important. Remember that if you get a 3D printer, get on, get you into a community, get to talking to people, look at videos. If something goes wrong, make a video about it or request, request somebody to make a video about it. There's a ton of information online. There's a ton of information on forums. There's a ton of information on Facebook groups. Just make sure you get on and you get involved because everybody wants to help you. And that's one of the most special things about this per and, and, and like I said, for every one video that's out there, there's, there's 100 people with the same problem. Same thing with these communities and stuff. So if you, if you have something go wrong with it, make sure that you make a video on it or put something in a form and let somebody know. That way, in case somebody else has that problem, you can cover that too and just help everybody out. But uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. We're going to start these uh, Thursday things back up. This coming Thursday, we've got Darth Vader. Or tomorrow. No, tomorrow's Wednesday. This video will be coming out. Tonight, Tuesday night, uh, and then tomorrow on Wednesday, I don't know if I'm going to be putting anything out. I'm not sure. If I can get that video done in time, uh, then I'll, I'll get that one out. But look forward to Darth Vader on Thursday. This is just about done. I've got one more thing to do to, the, to, to this helmet. It's going right up to the minute. I'm going to make the video on it and everything tomorrow. So hopefully I can get this done. I think I will because it's just one little spot that I need to fix on it. And then this whole thing will be done. It looks beautiful. It looks amazing. I, this you can't really see it because it's so dark. And that's awesome because you guys will be able to tune back in Thursday and see that completely. 
Next one that I'm going to be doing now that the uh, Anycubic i3 Mega is back and working, we're going to be doing Deadpool next because the Deadpool movie is out. I've, I found the face mask thing that you can put the cloth over and change the eyes and stuff out. I've always wanted to do one of those, so I'm going to make one of those. I don't know if we're going to do the cloth and stuff. I just want to keep these to the to the print. And so I thought about going ahead and ordering a cloth that, that'll go over the front of it that we can cut the eyes out and actually make the full thing. Uh, but to be honest with you, I want to keep these to just the print. And so it's probably just going to be the inside part of it, uh, showing you guys how the... I don't have the magnets on me right now, but showing you guys how the eyes go on with the magnets and everything. And that's basically it. That, that'll probably be it on that. And then if you guys would, leave me a suggestion of what you guys might want to see. If you guys want to see something new be made in the, in the Cosplay Thursdays, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm, I'm all ears. I'm all open to hearing what you guys want me to make. I've got several things that I want to do, but I'm so, so happy about the Anycubic being up. Uh, I wouldn't mind some of you guys getting out there and... and picking a few. I want to do Loki's helmet. Uh, I know that one's on the docket. I want to do a few more Infinity Wars things. I've been thinking of a few other prints to do. Not 100% sure. I want to do some more stuff with, with the LEDs because I got several LEDs and stuff so I got to go through and figure out what I can use, incorporate LEDs and electronics and stuff in. So anyways, that is fixed. Like I said, I'll be putting out the video on the, the complete fix it video here very, very, very soon within the next few days, possibly this weekend or something from, from beginning to end. And it's super helpful. There's a ton of people, like I said, in forums and stuff that have been just asking. Uh, uh, Anycubic's been having this problem. And if you have an Anycubic, you may go through this problem. I did it at three months. I've seen people at six months, somebody after a year, you know, every, there's so many people online that have had this problem and for some reason I'm the only one with a video. So I feel like, I feel compelled, like I have to make this video. I have to. Uh, and hopefully, don't let it discourage you guys though. Don't think that that video was a discouragement on buying an Anycubic i3 Mega. Make sure you guys understand that. Because after this whole experience, there is nothing that I love more in the world right now than the fact that I own an Anycubic i3 Mega. The customer service was amazing. Uh, Anycubic, when I talked to them themselves, were amazing. It was super easy to fix. It didn't come in super fast, so that was the, the one bad thing was it took a long time for it to get mailed into my house, but that's the only bad part. It went together. It's easy to figure out. There's a lot of people on forums, a lot of people in the community on it. A lot of people love the Anycubic i3 Mega, and the Anycubic on top of that prints really, really good prints. This is on like just normal, like this thing was printed in less than an hour, so. Uh, and that's, that's pretty good for as short time as it printed. No supports, no nothing. I mean, it, it did really good. So it's just an amazing machine. Amazing all around, amazing experience. I've just, I've loved every second of owning an Anycubic i3 Mega, and I'll be doing a review on it, my three month review, and I'll be including the fix it portion of it within the review so I can talk them up as much as I can because, uh, and I'm not getting paid for this. They didn't send me one. I bought it with my own money and I can't wait to do a review on it. I want this company to know how much I appreciate Anycubic for what they've done uh, for me as a first time 3D printer owner. And I would suggest anybody out there that wants to get a, a 3D printer, get an Anycubic i3 Mega, get one you won't be disappointed. My name is Bryson Michael RC. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button so every Thursday you can see one of these cosplay things getting printed and made. And we will see you guys later. Have a good day.